expecting the Minister for Finance to present the media review budget by the end of by the end of the month of this month, as the constitution stipulates. So before the thirty first of this month, the minister should have presented the media review budget. We know the challenges of this economy. We know the, the, the tax burden on the people. Most of the time when the minister comes, uh, he doesn't touch the, the appropriation or even the estimates. He comes for a just uh, presentation and say we are not touching the appropriation. We are expecting him this time to touch the appropriation because people are really suffering. We are expecting him to remove some taxes. Now that petrol prices have gone up the pump, in fact, it's, it's every three months or so, depending on the depreciation or the strength of the CD, it goes down or it goes up, but hardly does it go down. So prices are keeping, keep, going, keep going up. Either we fix the depreciation of the CD or we remove some taxes from the, the petroleum build-up so that it can reduce the, 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 the petrol prices up. You know, whenever petrol prices go up, people suffer, every sector of the economy. So that's one of the things that we are also expecting. We are expecting a robust employment agenda from the government. You know, just a couple of days ago, the, National, the Ghana Sazika Service released a report that suggests that about 1.9 million youth are idling. They are either not in employment, they are not in training, and they are not doing, they are not doing anything. So we expect a robust plan to create employment for the youth, to create employment, to, to reduce the burden of the ordinary Ghanaian on the economy. We don't expect any additional taxes from government. We don't. Actually, we expect him to reduce the taxes that we have. We are also expecting the government to be fiscally disciplined. You know, when elections are coming, there's a tendency of removing everything. Now we have realized the government has started the freebies. They are giving out ag uh, food, uh, agro inputs. They are giving up so many things for free. We expect the government to be fiscally disciplined so that we don't go back to where we, we were in 2020 before the IMF came in. We expect the, 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 the senior head, headmaster, the IMF, to hold government accountable to the, the credit facility that we have signed up to. So these are some of the things that we are expecting. But I know that when the minister comes and uh, we, we get the details, we, we can discuss more. Uh, we will not just be disappointed. We feel that the government is, we know it, the government is insensitive to the plight of the ordinary gain, and we know that. But we feel that it will have gone out of the roof because you look at where inflation has got into. Prices of goods and services have skyrocketed. Uh, unemployment is rising, people's income are not rising, their transport fares are rising, their electricity bills are rising, they are everything, every utility that you can think of, they are all rising. So we expect the government to, to be sensitive to the needs of the plight of the ordinary Ghanaian and hope that they will do the needful so that it will reduce the burden that they, actually the Ghanaians are going through.